So today let's try to work on creating new document libraries within SharePoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document library and create a new picture library. Um, I might create some other ones, but those are pretty much the two main or more popular libraries that get created within SharePoint. So I have a current, currently I have a standard SharePoint site here, a regular team services site. I currently have two existing document libraries. So if we look under the document section here, in our quick launch section on the left here, I have a shared documents library, reports library. Um, so we're going to expand that and we're going to create some other libraries. So how we do that is we simply click on uh, view all content or we can click on site actions and click create. So when we go to view all site con all content we get this button here called create or we can simply go to site actions and click create. If we are not an administrator and um, if we don't or we don't we're not someone that has permissions enough to the point where we have a site actions button we could always click on create here because this button is a permission trimmed button so if you don't have access to this section you will not see it in your version of SharePoint uh, so for simplicity let's just click on create here and right here on the left we have all these standard libraries we have document library form library wiki library and picture library so we're going to start with creating a document library simply left click and then we're going to be brought up to the new form new document library section here so this is where we need to fill out the name um, and uh, some other information so let's call this report So we'll call it report, report Library 2. And you can fill out a description. It's simply optional. Um, we have an option to display this document library on the Quick Launch, which is the left-hand navigation within SharePoint. Um, for the instance of this exercise, we'll, click, we'll keep it with Yes. We could always remove that or not have this library show up in the Quick Launch, though. Um, and here we can allow for emails to to be received within this library. Um, this is a advanced option within SharePoint whereby you can have libraries and lists um, send and receive, well not really send, but receive emails from a specified email account that you can create in here. And essentially when someone sends an email, to this library if that email has an attachment or whatnot that attachment would automatically go into that document library it's a pretty cool neat feature um, but for this for this exercise we're it's beyond the scope of this particular exercise so we're going to move on here um, document version history uh, create a version each time you edit a file in this document library again this is beyond the scope of this particular exercise this is where we turn on versioning and we can have multiple different versions of a document as it gets edited um, again we will go into that in another um, exercise and then we have document template we can specify a number of standard document templates for when we click on the new button within this library we can specify whether it'll open up a Word document, an Excel document, um, PowerPoint document, and whatnot. Um, so in, for this instance, we'll just click on No. We'll go into detail on this particular aspect of the document library in another series. So we'll click on Create. And in a matter of seconds, we have our new library. And that's pretty much, it's very simple, just like that. And if we want to just upload a document, Again, upload, browse, we'll use our reporting document that we used in a previous exercise, click open, click open, and there we have it. We have our new document library, and we have our new file that we just uploaded to that library. And um, so again, let's try to create another library. We'll click on view all site content again, and we will click on create and this time we'll create a picture library 
Let's give it a name. And we'll go through the similar questions and answers again. Yes, we're going to have this library show up in the quick launch. We're going to go past this incoming email option and we're going to leave the default setting for version history to no. So we'll click on create. And there we have it. We have a picture library now. Um, another thing is the picture library is a different type of library than the document library. So SharePoint has automatically created or put this picture into another section <coughs> called pictures and then the name of our pictures. Um, pretty much the same, the way we upload, we, the way we create a library is, a, is the same, doesn't matter which type of actual library we are creating, um, but all these libraries do have a different type. So SharePoint will kind of categorize based on the type of library that we create, as you can see right here. And that's pretty much it. We had some pictures. Fortunately, I don't have any pictures, or I'd, up I'd upload them. But um, yeah, we would upload our pictures into here. There's uh, there's cool, there's new, there's different navigation based on this library. As you can see, there's a view slideshow. Um, there's an edit. There's a couple more options or different options with respect to a picture library as opposed to a document library. We'll cl real quickly, I'll go into a document library. We'll go to its actions. And as you can see, there's different options that we have because the picture library is a different type of library than the document library, of course. So it pretty much tailors the actions that you might want based on that particular type of library. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's as easy as it is to create a library. Um, library is not the only type of thing you can create within SharePoint. There's many things. Among them, there are lists, custom lists, and um, you know these are just different types of various lists. Essentially, a calendar, tasks, links, and whatnot. Um, but pretty much, they all follow the same guidelines. Click on it, fill out some fields, click create and voila, you'll have all of your particular lists or libraries created automatically for you. And uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.